The second installment of one of the most addictive TV shows is coming soon. Did Kate's ex survive the first season? Let's find out. Warning, major spoilers ahead. Season two. Exactly one year ago, Netflix announced that the series based on Kristen Hanna's best-selling book of the same name is given green light for a continuation. The first installment ends up on a couple of cliffhangers, and it's safe to say that the show left us with more questions than answers. Katherine Heigl and Sarah Chalk, who play best friends Tully Hart and Cade Malarkey, shared the news about the renewal on a video posted to YouTube. Quote, We don't have all the answers yet, but trust us, it's gonna be worth the wait, Chalk says, adding that all of your questions will get answered in the continuation. The end of the first installment created a pretty uncertain future for Johnny Ryan. Also, Kate and Tully aren't on speaking terms. For those of you wondering if Johnny is the reason for them not being on speaking terms, he is not. In the video, Chalk says the issue is family related and has nothing to do with Johnny. Let's get into more details, shall we? The ending and its influence on season two. Let's be honest here. This show is the best portrayal of female friendship ever. Sex in the City tried too much to make the friendship flawless, which is not the case with Firefly Lane. And yes, we did just compare two completely different TV shows, but you get our point. During the first installment, we watched the two best friends going through different struggles, but most importantly, they always gave each other support. But once fans saw the finale of the first installment, they realized that the promises Tully and Kate made to each other are just promises and nothing else. In the series, their friendship is described through decades, but fans who have read the novel know that showrunner Maggie Friedman has made some major changes from the source material, changes that will obviously affect the future episodes. Let's talk about the changes made in the final episode. The reason Netflix left us with the many cliffhangers is that they wanted to create a continuation. Near the end, Johnny and Kate sleep together, and then she takes him to the airport. The reason we might not see Johnny in the next installment is that there's a huge possibility that he lost his life in the explosion that hit his group. The next installment is likely to continue right after this event, with fans finally discovering what happened to Johnny. Unaware of what happened to him, the two best friends enjoy their time before the camera pans over to a scene in the future with a funeral. The funeral is for Kate's father, not Johnny. When Tully comes to pay her respects, Kate is outraged and says she can't forgive her best friend, adding that she never wants to see or speak to her again. So what is the reason for them not being on speaking terms anymore? Why would Kate be so outraged? Those of you who have read the source material know that in it, Tully invites Kate and Mara onto a live show in order for them to straighten up their mother-daughter relationship. Then things get really complicated once Kate criticizes Tully while on air. This is when their trust, friendship, and love for each other are gone. According to some fans, this storyline will be utilized in the second installment. Leave, Tully, go home, now. I don't ever wanna see you again. Plot details. The main storyline for the next season will be the broken friendship, and of course, the reason for them not talking to each other anymore. After all, they've been friends for three decades, so something terrible must have happened between them. We'll dive into the plot of the novel in order to prepare for what's about to come in season two. So in the source material, after the friendship ends, Kate is diagnosed with breast cancer. She then tries to tell Tully, but she's covering a story in Antarctica meaning that she's unreachable. Kate's situation is not getting better, with her being taken to the hospital. She knows the end is near, and thankfully, Tully finds out and comes to be there by her side. Both of them agree that things are fine between them, with Tully being there in the last moments of Kate's life. If this is the ending Netflix will use for the show, well, prepare your tissue boxes. The author of the first novel, Kristen Hanna, has continued the story in a sequel called Fly Away. In this book, fans can see how Kate's death affected Tully and how she lives her life without her best friend by her side. Most fans don't want Netflix to stay loyal to the source material and take the story in an original direction instead, a direction that won't leave us heartbroken. What are your hopes? Do you wish for Netflix to stay loyal to the source material? Let us know. Since we still don't know if the creators will follow the storylines in the novel, these are only speculations. 
and you have nothing to worry about. Now, let's see who will come back for the next season, shall we? Oh, and before we continue with more shocking details, make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done so already. It helps out a lot. Cast members. Catherine Heigl and Sarah Chalk are obviously coming back to reprise their famous roles. We also expect to see Rowan Curtis, who plays teenage Kate, along with Ali Scobie, who plays teenage Tully. Bo Garrett is likely to return as well. As previously mentioned, the main question fans have in mind is whether Ben Lawson, who plays Kate's ex-husband, Johnny Ryan, will return to the continuation. As you already know, he was in Iraq when he got involved in a terrible attack. Lawson talked about his character and told Glamour that he wishes to get back and reprise his role, adding that he believes that Johnny needs Kate. Quote, he needs that real, good, kind-hearted, honest person to ground him. I would like to see them together. We agree with Lawson and hope to see him in future episodes, at least in a couple of them. Creator Maggie Friedman will again serve as the showrunner and executive producer for the series, with the help of executive producers Katherine Heigl and Sean Williamson. From a perfect cast ensemble to the captivating source material, and of course, the amazingly talented crew behind the cameras, the second installment lives on high expectations. New Additions on September 21st, Netflix released a statement in which it was revealed that four new characters will get introduced in the drama in future episodes. According to the press release, we'll see, quote, India de Beaufort as Charlotte. As we meet Charlotte in 1985 Seattle, she's a quiet and reserved aspiring journalist with a hopeless crush on Johnny Ryan. But over the years, she grows into a world-renowned, confident, and sophisticated reporter, a woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go after it. Then there's Greg German as Benedict Binswanger, who is, according to the press release, a scion of an influential logging family. He parlays his success in business into a run for governor of Washington state in the 1980s. Interestingly enough, Netflix informs that he tries to preserve the Binswanger legacy by making sure a long-held secret stays buried. Jolene Purdy will join the series as Justine Jordan. She is described as a sunny, upbeat talent agent with a knack for keeping a positive demeanor even when delivering devastating news. She's likely to be a close friend to Tully, at least according to Netflix's description of her character. Last but not least, we'll see Ignacio Cerriccio as Danny Diaz. Danny is a cocky sportscaster turned reporter who has crackling chemistry with Tully. Well, we can all agree that season two looks quite promising. Kate's illness, the plot twist, we have to back up a little bit because we believe Kate's illness will play a significant role in the second installment. The next season might also end on a big cliffhanger, meaning that Kate will likely discover she has inoperable cancer at the end of season two. Do you guys wish for Firefly Lane to go beyond season two? What are your hopes for the next season? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.